areas of triangles and trapezoids. Here we go. We are going to find this area by using one half base times height, right? Because the one half comes from the fact that there are two of these triangles in this rectangle, right? So base times height would be six times nine, but that would give us the whole rectangle. So we have to divide by two. And it's easier to divide the six by two first, so you do three times nine, or 27. So a trick is one half base times height. Usually, almost always, it's easier to divide one of these by one half before you multiply. So in this case, we, we divided the base by a half before we multiplied. So three times nine is 27. Okay, what is the area here? So one half base times height. So it's going to be four times seven or 28. How about this? One half eight times 10, just for fun, we'll divide the 10 by two. That'll give us eight times five or 40. We could divide either one. What is the area? Okay, so now we have a base of nine and a height of six, so one half nine times six. You, you might be wondering, why does the base times height formula still work here? Well, if I drew this rectangle, that would be nine times six. And this triangle is half the right little rectangle, and this triangle is half the left little rectangle. So it's all together, they're half the big rectangle. So it's still one half nine times six. It's a cool so one half, nine times six, go ahead, divide that by two. So it's nine times three or 27. Okay, what is the area? One half, eight times seven or four times seven or 28 square inches. Okay, and about this. Well, one half, eight times 10, or four times 10, or 40 square inches. All right, how about this? One half, five, times 10, five times five, or 25 square feet. What is the area? So for a trapezoid, you can either do it by adding up rectangles and triangles, or you can use the formula instead of one half base times height, you do one half base one plus base two times height. Why would you do that? Well, it's because what this is the average base, right? So if I take the average of the top and the bottom, I'll get right in the middle. Right? Let me erase that. That's not a good picture. I'll draw the formula again later. But if I take the average of the top and the bottom, I'll get something right in the middle. Look at this length. So if I take this length and I multiply it by height, I'll get the area of the trapezoid. Right? This should this should feel like right halfway in between. Right? Because then this area and this area equal and this area and this area equal. So you can like put them in and you'll get a rectangle. And note that the one half base times 
base one plus base two times height formula still works for the triangle. It's just that the top of the triangle is zero or the, like the top quote base is just zero, right? So one half base one plus base two times seven. So let's use it. One half times seven plus three times four. This is one half times 10, which is just five times four or 20. Twenty square inches. Okay, what is the area here? One half ten plus three times six. So we'll do the one half and the six this time. I'll we'll get thirteen. Right, the temple series thirteen. One half six is three, so it should just be thirty nine square centimeters. And what is the area? One half, seven plus four times 10. So that'll become 11 times five or 55 square feet. All right, hopefully you understand the connection between the triangle and trapezoid formula, uh, maybe practice a bit more, and I'll see you next time.